I walked out into the hall one morning. It was right for taking a shower by the closet. <clears throat> and I woke up one morning. This was right after showering. Uh, just finished showering. And I walked out into the hall by the closet. And this was the closet that housed the AC unit and the vents, like a utility thing. And I, I heard this little rumble, like a small twiddling through some plastic bags. And uh, the ones that, these are the bags that I that kept some nails in and staples for lining on telephone and ethernet. Anyway, it was a possum and he was still alive and his nose switching. He or she, it, it, it was still a baby. Anyway, it, it must have fell through a gap, that the ceilings and the ventilation ducts leading to a vent out on the roof. He was all alone, no food, no water. I mean, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's, he was scared, I'm sure. And, and it was, you know, we're perfectly content. I, I'm no possum, so it was a little hard to empathize with its circumstance of, you know, being there. All alone, there was no home or mother, you know, some utility closet and a tool bag or tool. I mean, it was a pet bag. It was cold, I'm sure. I mean, I, I, I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported I had lost a that I had a, lo a, a, a loose varmint in my household. I, I didn't lose it, but I mean, it, it, was, it was loose. It was a loose varmint in my household. And I, I mean, I meant no harm when I called, made the call, but, but my cats were flipping out and they were trying to claw under the vents and they were pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood and, and they were trying to get at it, sniffing and hissing, investigating, prowling and hunting, the loneliness that, that wept on the other side of the door, the innocence, the young life, the very next day very next day, the little intruder was gone. Supposedly, he was taken away in cage. And the maintenance people were going to release it into the wild. Kenny, the maintenance manager, he told me it would happen. Well, now this is weird. The next week, get this, the next week I found another possum. The same size, the same nose, identical in nature, but dead. I think. I'm no possum, but I do believe they are known to play dead in self-defense. But this one wasn't moving his nose like the last time. It smelled dead. Now, I mean, let's think about this for a minute. It smelled dead. Surely it had found its way or fell through the gap and it got trapped. That was supposedly supposed to be repaired in the utility closet. And it must have fell down or uh, searching. Maybe it smelled its mother or maybe its mother or its sister or whoever was first discovered in the cage. And I guess... It was released into the wild. And I figured the dead possum must have starved to death. I mean, there was no food, there was no water, and, and that's what happens to life when it's trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the world behind a closet for too long. At least to this little guy. Now, this moment of life abandoned it, it was forgotten. Or maybe Kenny killed the initial possum and planted it there, you know, the second one. And never, he, or, or maybe it was the first one being the second one because he never released it, to, you know, that just to be cruel to, to me. Nah, nah. Nah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe not. These are the things I think of now. But I pick it apart like a detective. I just I go through and I think about these things. I analyze them to keep me away from the image of her, to stop me from remembering. You know, something to focus.